It's that time of the month again, ladies and gentlemen. And before we begin, special thanks to Nintendo for providing me a copy of this. They provided for me at launch day, but I gotta get the expansion pass that's gonna be coming. Well, it came out already, so I welcome you guys to my playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. You guys remember in 2015 I did Xenoblade Chronicles X. The one game that I spent like 150 hours on. And if they bring this to the Switch, I'll be putting 150 hours more. And you guys know I've I own every single Xenoblade Chronicles game. I own the Wii version, which was released as a limited exclusive item. There's the Shulk Amiibo, which, well, is no surprise. There's also the new 3DS version, which I got, by the way. And Xenoblade Chronicles X for Wii U. Makes me want to go back and play it again. But now, it's time for us to rock and roll. We get underway with Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And it's going to be a fun one, at least. I truthfully do mean that. Yeah, just straight to the point. This is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I am hyped for this. Let's head to the options before we begin. We have camera settings, you have sound settings, and you have display settings. And you have, like, a lot of different. I'll set the cutscene voice up so that way you guys can hear. Also, there's, like, Japanese. You can also have it in English or in Japanese. There was a free Japanese update. But I'm going to keep things in English because it makes sense. And, yeah. And as for camera, everything will be as is. All right, let us get started.
We really do need to buy ourselves a new depth probe. The ping was off by 150 peds to the east. That's not gonna fly. And what about the treasure, Rex? Was it in line with your expectations? It seemed pretty solid. Didn't even have to reinforce it too much. Even with the labor costs, we should be able to turn a decent profit. Honestly, it takes you two days to run the structural analysis. Yet somehow you can gauge the profits in an instant. Don't go raining on my parade, Gramps. You know, I'm in the salvaging trade for the cash. A little business sense goes a long way. All right. Whoa. I didn't expect that. You've been living in this thing, big guy. Ricks. No worries, Gramps. I think we know what's for lunch. So it begins. <laughs> Time to earn your lunch. To initiate combat, the first thing Rex needs to do is draw his weapon. To draw your weapon, press the A button while targeting the enemy. To display the target, just press the R button. You can tell which enemy you're targeting by the target marker displayed above its head. It's in red. Incidentally, you can also sheath your weapon if you'd rather not continue a fight. It's as simple as holding down the R button and pressing B. If you approach the targeted enemy with your weapon drawn, you'll execute attacks automatically. This is your standard auto attack. Got all that? Then it's time to draw your weapon and start preparing your lunch. Because I'm hungry. Time to take you down. Auto attacks are delivered in sets of three. The attack power increases with each blow. Simple, right? You'll notice right away the attack getting stronger. God. And now another part of the tutorial. Take a look at when the icon in the lower right of the screen. When one of these activates, it means an art is ready to use. Aren't your special techniques distinct from auto attacks? The icons are laid out just like the corresponding buttons, so just press the corresponding button to use one. After using an art, you have to wait a while until the recharge gate surrounding the icon has been refilled before you can use it again. It'll refill as you auto attack enemies. Press the X button to let rip with its anchor shot. Anchor shot. Ha! The enemy just dropped something, it's called an HP potion. Maneuver X to the potion to pick it up and it'll restore some of its health points. Some arts will always cause the enemy to drop an HP potion. Should you use your arts immediately to see your damage or save them when you need bonuses like that? Consider them carefully. Why not? Yeah, this is what pretty much it is in a nutshell. But if you played a game like I have, you would get the idea. An entire horizon of white, a sea of clouds, and at its heart, the world tree piercing the heavens. This, this is the world we call home, all rest. Story goes that when the world was young, everyone in all rest lived on the tree, together with our divine father, the architect. According to the tales, it was a bountiful land. And the people there held the power to command even the heavens themselves. They called that paradise Elysium. But then, one day, we were cast out. Nobody knows why. Perhaps we angered our creator. Or perhaps it was something else entirely. All we know is we were forced to leave Elysium, to live here in all rest. Where it turns out, life was pretty hard. But when it seemed like we would surely die out, the architect took pity on us, sending his servants, the Titans, to save us. The few of us who survived settled on the Titans. And we've lived in harmony with them ever since. But now, those titans are beginning to die out. Uh, oh, the 
brazier does my weary old bones much good. You want me to move it, Gramps? No, that's quite all right. Leave it right there. Uh... Right up. Not another one. Been happening a lot lately. Mm, more so than before. I wonder... if anyone was living there. It seems not. And if there had been, they would have all left by now. Makes sense. Hey, Gramps. Do you think... Fonset Village will be gone too one day. It would not be today or tomorrow, but one day, yes, it will fall. And you too? That's how it goes with us Titans. There's no way around it. Eventually, there'll be nowhere left to live. Sadly. So... You Titans were born up there. Is that right? So they say, for what it's worth. Mind you, I was born here on all rest. As for my ancestors, who could say where they were born? Can it really exist, this Elysium, and the Creator who said to live there? A land of plenty atop the world tree. If such a place did exist, perhaps we could all live in peace, with no need for fighting. Sure would be great. For everyone. Even folks in Fonse. If the Divine Architect can see us now, I wonder what he thinks. Back to making money. I think this hole should be enough for today. Oi, Gramps! Care for a little swim to the Argentum Trade Guild? You're planning on selling it now? It's getting toward my bedtime. Don't play the lazy old man with me. There's plenty of sunshine left. Kids these days. No respect, I swear. Why, if it isn't Rex? How's business? Going all right, else I wouldn't be here. Fair point. So, which one am I unloading? We can leave that until I'm done negotiating. Shouldn't be too long. Well, morning is 15 gold per half day. I'll have your gold after I sell the stuff, all right? Later. Hey, hold on. You know I can't do credit. <sighs> Does it every time, too. 
No wallet, I'm afraid. Fuck yours. Awesome. This thing's huge, and it's not even a Titan ship. Looks like our adventure's about to really get going, and you can count on me to offer timely explanations of any new game features you encounter. When you close the tutorial screen, you'll see Gold Mouth Return Port pop on the screen. This is letting you know you found a landmark. When you discover the landmark, you can return it instantly with skip travel at any time. If you're defeated in battle, you'll return to the last landmark that you visited. Always has a great variety of landmarks, so discover as many as you can to help you on your adventure. And just in case you ever find yourself struggling with the basic controls, press left, up, or right to bring up a quick explanation of the control scheme. Left is for battle, up for camera, right's for field. Nice. Hmm. What about him? Hey there. Rex, my boy. This no pun here is just a ride to do a bit of sightseeing around Argentum. I keep saying the center exchange is inside Goldmouth. Just after the end of the ship, but he just doesn't get it. And now he wants me to take him up to Lemoir on the third floor. I'm a salvager, not a tour guide. A salvager, not a tour guide, they say. Alright, first up. Let me tell you a few things you might find useful. First up is the regular view. See what the arrow is pointing to right now. That's your compass. The mark on the compass indicates the direction the wreck should be heading in. The digit above the mark on the compass shows the distance. If Ress's destination is higher, then you'll see a little arrow above the mark. Conversely, if it's a lower altitude, the arrow will be displayed below the mark. Now we have informa environmental information the arrow marks pointing on the right. This will key you about info about immediate surroundings like weather, time of day, etc. The mini-map is also there. You can use it to get a quick grasp of your surroundings. The yellow marker in the middle shows it's Rex's location and the direction he's facing. Push the left to switch between a full screen or a mini-map view. Confident adventurers might prefer to make their way through all rest without using the minimap. And down there is the current objective. This tells you exactly what Rex is supposed to be doing at the present time. You can toggle it with the ZR button, so take a look if you're ever unsure about what to do next. Right now it's telling you to go pay a visit to Melolo at the Central Exchange, so we'll try doing that. This won't take us long, right? Now we enter the Argentine right. Bazaar. Have you heard anything interesting lately? There's this legendary merc a pal of mine told me about, Zoquit. And get this, he's got a huge sweet tooth. Can't say no to a Cinepon roll. Just one Cinepon roll and he'll be pumped for the next battle. It's similar to how my wife's got a serious thing for eau de duel. Flattened smells are a conductor to a good working environment, she says. You should find that special something that pe peps you up as well. Interesting. That's a lot of information, I tell you, a lot. But let's focus on meeting with Melolo for now. What? That's it? It's life, Mayor. There's still more than I give to non-friend. If you bring military supplies, then you get good price. Cease fire between Mor Ardain and Uriah, not keep for too much longer, methinks. So weaponry is hot item. Well, what friend think? I'll make it worth your while. I told you before. I stay away from that sort of thing. Oh, it's shame. Rex good salvager. Could be a good way to earn pretty penny. Waste of talent, if you ask me. Anywho, where were we? I'll take your offer. 200 now, and you know what to do with the rest. Okie doodles. Sending monies to Corin of Fonset Village, is right? Yeah. Is beautiful thing. Sending money home at such young age. I touched. Wish my own dumb dumb little pond did same. It's because Gramps doesn't charge rent. Hey, hey! All right, I'm counting on you. Roger, pleasure doing business. That didn't take long. We got 200 gil. Hello, Rex. Papunin, been a while. Rex looking high spirits? Ah, uh, no, how say? Yes, Pippi. Been worse? So, you got something for me? New job, maybe? Something like that. Ah, by the way, 
Wrecks come from Fonset Village in Leftherian Archipelago, yes? Yeah, that's right. Why'd you ask? You should go straight to boardroom of Chairman. Wait, what's going on? Chairman Banner asked for Rex by name. The Chairman? For me? Well, this is new. I wonder why. Well, time to find out. Hold up a second. Before we forget, let's explain how to control the camera. The camera has two modes, manual and automatic. To use manual, just use the right analog stick to point the camera in whichever direction you like. If you press the right analog while it's in manual mode, it'll hold it on Rex back and follow him around. That's auto mode. You can also adjust the camera's height and zoom. Hold down L and move R left and right to adjust camera height or up and down to adjust zoom. If you experiment with different camera angles, then you might be able to spawn a few things that you might otherwise have missed, so we'll give it a shot. There's not a lot here to do. Alright, we're supposed to... Yeah, we're supposed to head up. Alright, we made it to the bar lounge. It's actually supposed to be in here. Thank you for accepting summons. I, Banner, Chairman of Argentum Trade Guild. P pleased to make your acquaintance. We hear from purporting that friend is salvager of some renown. That being case, I have dinsy wincy thing to ask of Rex. A request straight from the chairman. Reward is 100,000 gold. A 100,000? Friend here, right? Actually, that just the advance. Another 100,000 provided upon completing job. 200,000 gold in total? Uh, I must be dreaming. I'll do it. I hereby swear to use every skill I possess to ensure this job is successful. I promise I won't let you down. <laughs> you agree without even hearing details of job? Oh, oh, right. Um, what kind of job is it? You really have skills for this? Of course. I'll be fine. Eh, if you say. Here, crew will explain the task. Bring them in. Sir? Drivers and blades. Whoa, they look so cool. So, there's something that we want to haul up. There were some current shifts. It showed up in an uncharted area, but it's a long way down. Nice. I like a good challenge. Banner offered to assemble a team of veterans for this job. But this crew very picky. They want small, elite team, and only from Latheria. That, when Banner have stroke of genius, should hire Rex. Ha <laughs> ha! You made the right choice. <laughs> A child salvager. Jin, don't tell me we're gonna have to hire some babysitters for this outing, too. What the hell? You look as much like a kid as I do, lady. At least I wouldn't wet myself for the promise of a measly undergrand. What are you trying to say? <clears throat> Rex, was it? I implore you to excuse my lady's discourtesy. Dromark, what have I told you about speaking for me? Shut Drop your... it, Nia. Though I do see your point. In any case, it should be easy enough to make sure. What? Ah. 
What are you playing at? Well, well, well. Malos, what good does it beating up a kid? You said it yourself, didn't you? What if the kid's not up to it? I said nothing of the sort. You did think it, though, right? And anyway, now we know. You'll do right enough. Though you don't look like a driver. Where'd you learn those arts? Gramp showed me a thing or two. Even when I was little. That was his idea of playtime. Well, you've got some skill. I'll give you that. Guts, too. Kid, you better work hard. are such rowdy bunch. Here is advance. Use to buy what gear you need, then go to dock on starboard. Banner has arranged excellent vessel for you there. You got it. Why do I have this feeling that these crew are not to be trustworthy? Right then. There are plenty of preparations to make, but first off, I should probably check in with Gramps. If I just took off on a, some random shit without telling him, I'm sure he'd give me heck later when I came back. I better head down the stairs and back to Goldmoth Return Port. And we got the advance payment, 100k gold. Now what do we do with it? That's the thing. Well, we may as well stock up. Since we need to. Oh uh, yeah, we have to return back. Yeah, so our objective now, according to this, go and talk to Gramps in Goldmouth Return Port. Right here. Yep, I hope he doesn't mind. And that about covers it. Alright, I'll see you later. Should be back in a day or two. Take it easy, Gramps. That does not about cover it in the slightest. Why would you take a job you know nothing about? You don't even know who your employer is. This came straight from the chairman, remember? What more do you need? Anyway, I'm off. You can take a nap while you wait. Hey, come back here, will you? Rex! How rebellious. Now that I've got Grams' permission just about, I better start making preparations for the mission. 100 grand to spend. That sure is an exciting prospect. I should buy a whole new cutting edge salvaging suit. But no, I can't splurge this all at once. The folks back home need this money more than I do. I'll hold off on making any big purchases and just head to Chinese accessories. Anyway, always best to be prepared for anything. Might end up fighting a crust if like on my last salvage. Now the main story quest. Big job preparations. Let's set it as an active quest too. You've accepted a quest. You have two types, regular and main story quest. We need to complete main story quest to advance the main story. The direction of the next location is shown on the compass as a pink icon. A word of warning here. It, the pink icon will not appear on the compass at the top of the screen unless you set a quest as active. Feel free to ignore this feature if you're a seasoned veteran, but rookie adventurers would do well to remember to set active quests whenever possible. Ordinary quests aren't vital to the story. They're blue exclamation mark icons. All rest is full of people who can use a little help. You'll be able to spot them pretty easily since they'll have a blue question mark icon above their heads. If you speak to them, they'll usually open up to you about their problems and request some help. They're the regular quest I mentioned earlier. If you manage to solve their problems, they'll give you a reward for your trouble. Now we have access to the quest log menu. That's awesome. Now let's head inside and stock up. And there is so much to find here. Now let's head to the accessories. Ah, friend Rex. Good to be seen. Hey, Shiny. You still got that thing we talked about before. Ah, Rex finally saved up money to purchase? You got it. Can I have a look? The Abyss Vest. 
Why do I suddenly have much monies? Salvage some amazing treasure? I've taken on a big job direct from the chairman. Got a hundred G just for the advance payment. Wow, that's quite impressive. But I'll be going into uncharted water, so I want to make sure I'm prepared. The accessory is sure to protect Rex. Shiny guarantee. Good luck on job. Right, well that's sorted. And I still got a fair amount of cash left. Time to send some back home to full set Fonset. I best go see Melo at the Central Exchange again. We got the Advis Vest, which boosts our maximum HP by 24%. Right now, the vest is the only accessory you have, so be sh but you're sure to encounter a whole lot more during your adventure. Just remember, you need to equip accessories to benefit them. Main menu, then characters, then character setup, then accessories. Now let's access the menu. Characters. Accessories. And you have two slots. Ain't that something. And all we gotta do is send the money here. Rex back again. Did friend forget something? No, I didn't exactly forget anything. I decided to make a cash transfer. Rex find money on floor? No pawn round here very particular on money, so it should turn into even small change. No, I didn't pick up my small change. Actually, I got my hands on a big sum. Big sum, like 2,000? I'd rather not bend the number about too much, but... More like a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand! Not so loud. Oh yes, sorry much. But Red Rex get all that gold? Actually, no, no need to tell Melo. Melo will want, not want to get mixed up in shady business. I don't think that's that big of a deal. Any hoodles Rex, Melo are not able to accept such laws some here anyway. Should talk directly to Courier. All Melis Melo except here always delivered through Courier called Max. Okay, Max, I know him. I didn't know he was also delivering that money for me all this time. Huh? Well, this certainly make things quicker. Friend know where to find Max? Anyway, he'll just be through the bazaar. Thanks, Melo. Now the quest is updated. Just gotta get around here. Yeah, it's around. There he is. Hey, Max, I have to transfer some money. Why, if it isn't Rax? Pretty rare for a client to drop cash off in person. It's a big sum this time, so Melo said I should bring it straight to you. You're quite the guy, you know. Not many people send all this money back to their folks every single month. <laughs> it's not that big of a deal. So how much were we talking? I don't want to completely empty my pockets, so after leaving a bit for myself, let's say... 90000 can you deliver 90,000 to Corina Forest Village buildings? Phew, that's quite the help me some. Did you haul some huge treasure? Something like that. I took on a big job from the chairman. Now that sure sounds like a pie I like a piece of. Oh yeah, I got the delivery for you too. Good thing you dropped by, else I'd have to track you down. It's from the same Monte Carina here's actually. Oh, it's Bray's Cloud Sea Shark. Hmm, it looks delicious. I'll have to dig into that later. Thanks, Max. Take care of that transfer for me, okay? You can count on me. Hello there, friend Rex. Rui, proprietor of Whiteside Salvaging at your service. No need for introductions with me, Rui. I was thinking of going to check out some cylinders in a bit. Well, that perfect timing. Rui, we just got in brand new cylinder type. If having time, friend want to test out? Really? You let me? Rex is up and coming star of Salvager World. If Rex approve of quality, easier for Rui to sell. It's not every day you get the chance to test out a brand new product. I'd be glad to help. Then it's settled. Come see Rui on rear deck shortly then. Rui will make presentation. Gotcha. Now the quest continues and we have to meet Rui right around here. On the salvage deck. This is brand new cylinder. Please test out a nearby salvage point and tell Rui impressions from using. Alright then, leave it to me. We get a silver cylinder. Another tutorial. We learn about salvaging. The icon you can see in front of Rex right now marks what we call a salvage point. As long as you have cylinders, you can go salvaging at one of these points at any time. Follow the on-screen instructions and hit the buttons at just the right time to get your hands on some treasure. Time it right and you'll get high quality treasure, but if it's off, the value of the treasure decreases. There are salvage points all over all rest and the type of treasures vary from point to point, so if you find a new one, be sure to give it a try. 
If you're short on cylinders, you can buy them at any salvager shop. You'll find them all across all rest. An expensive cylinder is likely to get you better treasure, but even a cheap one can yield a different haul, a decent one. So use your goal as you see fit. For the moment, you better use that cylinder Rui gave you and see how it goes. Alright, silver cylinder then. Oh, I can't wait! Huh. Onwards! Let's see how it goes, but I'm not perfect with this. Oh man, did I come up with a load of guff again? Well, it wasn't so bad. We got some good amounts. Okay, bring it on. And it turns out we've encountered a crabble. Dang, found us. Yeah. Yeah, what's the matter? Is that it? Anchor shot. Ha! Why not? Yeah. I don't have much else to say. This game is going to be really fun. Ha! That should do it. You're all mine. Gotten what we need from him. Excellent. Looks like friend or fish. How was new cylinder? Fantastic. That's good to hear. Ruri hope other salvagers feel the same way. At any rate, thanks much for help. Also, here, give friend present of three normal cylinder. Can use in the same place as before. <laughs> Happy salvaging. If friend ever run out of cylinder, please drop by shop anytime. We make deal. I guess I got a bit distracted. What was I meant to be doing again? I my guess I should stock up on food supplies. I got that Braze Cloud Sea Shock now, but I could do with a bit more. Yeah, I'll visit Fishy Fishy on the third floor, then I should be all set. Now it continues. This time we gotta head upwards. Gotta head to the third floor. And that's right up there. They didn't take us this long, right? Welcome, friend. Now then, what should I buy? And some of them have like a load of interesting effects. Alright, that should do it. Thanks for custom. Quest complete. We also get some experience along with it with completing quests. Right, I got the accessory I want. I'm all sorted for food. I think that should just about do it. There's still time left before I have to leave, so maybe I'll rest up at the inn. I could head back to Grants for Rep, but he might try to give me another lecture, so yeah, the inn seems best. Got some cash left. Count out to rest in a nice comfy bed once in a while. The inn should be just past Rumbletum Canteen. Let's get moving. Yeah, we took care of the quest. Now let's get ourselves rested up. Let me quickly explain about lodgings. When you take a short rest at a lodging facility like an inn, you can use any bonus experience you earn to boost your level. Bonus experience is the experience you earn when completing quests or discovering landmarks. Be sure to Rest at ends on occasion so you can use it. If you come up against a foe that you just can't beat, do a few quests to build up that bonus experience, then go to a lodging facility to level up. On the other hand, if you're the type that likes a challenge, you're free to never level up at lodgings at all. It can be fun to live dangerously. You got a big day out of you tomorrow, so get some shut eye. Welcome to the Moor Inn, rest place of old traders. I'd like to rest up a bit. Thanks very much for certain. We have rooms free. Alright, let's give it a short rest. And now Rex Rex can level up. And now levels up to level three. Yeah, I'm feeling stronger than before. Yep, we're done here. This is reminding me of Final Fantasy XV where you have to be at an end to level up your characters.
The real this really is so different from sleeping in that little hut on Gramps' back. For some reason, I even feel I've got a bit stronger. Anyway, better head of the meetup point. It was at Goldmouth exit dock down on the ground floor, right? I guess there's still time to look around Goldmouth a bit longer if I want to. But I shouldn't dawdle too long. You're right. A number of shops are now available for you to use. You'll find a whole range of different traders as you journey across Allrest. The trade guild is known as the hub of Allrest commerce, so naturally you'll find a plethora of different shops here. While you're here, you should make sure you've got everything you need before you head out on your adventures. Ugh, I slept like a baby. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you about something important. Rex's pouch. Rex never goes anywhere without his handy pouch. It's great for putting his favorite items inside so that he always has them close to hand. It isn't that big, but it can only hold one handy item at a time. So what should you put in your pouch? Well, usually the sort of everyday items you'll find at shops. Just keeping them close by can have all sorts of effects. There are 12 different types of shops across all racks, so if you encounter a new one, be sure to check it out. Right about that. And there's also a bit of questing on the line, huh? I guess it wouldn't hurt to spend a bit of time questing up. Like this, for instance. Left all clear, right all clear, front all clear, gold mop A-OK. -okay. But Gegeby's shift not A-OK. -okay. Really? Limonly is supposed to take over when, when Gegeby's time is up. But Limonly already 3,281 seconds late. This thousand time now. And thousand time Gegeby will miss Din Din's. That's not good. Gegeby want to find Limonly and scold him whole day long. But Gegeby much keep watch. Slow sleepy. So hungry. I'd like to help if that's okay. Meh meh? You want to help Gegeby? Thank you. Gegeby ever so grateful. Please find Limonly and tell him that it's time to relieve watch. I'll do what I can. Thank you, friend, and all that reminds me. You probably find Lemui watching salvaging. You always lose track of time when doing that. And now we have the quest, Better Late Than Never. Let's set that up as an active quest. Yeah, we'll, we'll do like a side quest or two, and that's going to be it. And next time we'll be moving on. There's actually, yeah, there's actually two quests. Two quests we need to do. Wait, where is he? There is Limily. Salvaging so cool. Limily could watch it all day. Meh? Limily felt like he forgot something. So the thing is, meh, 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 watch duty. This thousand times Gagabee's gonna get so angry. Meh, meh, meh. Are you all right? Limily watched salvaging for so long, he forgot his tummy was rumbly grumbly. Uh, Limily cannot move one inch. Limily shrivel up and go down here. Remember Limily fondly. This is awkward. What should we do? Take pity on poor Limily? Someone help Limily? Is no kind good people around? If only Limily could eat Cinnapon Roll from Honeycomb Sweets, Limily would have energy to work. Roger. Just one single small Cinnapon Roll, huh? Now we gotta find a Cinna Cinnapon Roll. Yeah, some quests can take ridiculous. And there's going to be parts on the playthrough where we have to do quests. Just to get stronger. Let's get the Cinnapon roll. Alright, we have the Cinnapon roll. Now we gotta deliver it to him. And yeah, you can actually also jump. Time to take you down. Yeah. Yeah, let's take on this gravel. Yeah, that didn't take us this long. Okay, you gotta get up here. Here you go. You did it! It's Cinnapon Roll! Let me lead up right now! Wait, no, not time for that. Terrible problem. Now what? Limonly stand around dreaming a Cinnapon roll. Precious treasure gets stolen by Sly Crabble. So we have to get a pendant back. Oh, 
Call up the Sly Crabble in the salvage deck. Time for some treasure hunting. Here we go. Time. Onwards. Yeah, the first one he starts fast, then medium, and then slow. Oh, I love the smell of salvage. A good salvage result. Okay, bring it up. Ha! Yeah! Sword bash! Anchor shot! Ha! Yeah, that got him. Yeah, he missed? Ha. Really? Okay. Anchor shot. Ha. Why not? Ha! Sword bash. Yeah. Yeah, this fight can go on forever. Anchor shot. Ha. Why not? And he takes a lot of punishment. Nice, we got the necklace. <laughs> Easy peasy. And your health refills after battle, which makes it a much needed reprieve. Namely, was not eating cinnamon pollen rolls, only only half of it. Namely's pendant? Thank you. This Limily special memories of Mama Pond. Looks like everything worked out. Meh. Limily think too much about Pennant and forget to relieve Gilgibby of watch duty. Limily not keep you get ready. Bye, friends. Now all we gotta do is meet up with them on top and we finish up the mish, the quest. And then we have one more and that'll be it. But yeah, I'll be honest, I'm truthfully enjoying this. And it's right here. Ah, thanks a lot. Gekigi passed watch to the Limuli, no problemo. <laughs> Pretty impressive, right? Limuli smashed previous lateness neck of 7,691 seconds. Because this happened thousand times, Gekigi planned to lecture him for three days and three nights. But Limuli gave Gekigi half of delicious Cinnapon roll, so Gekigi forgave him. Looks like everything worked out. Gekigi not monster. Generosity of Gekigi wide as cloud sea. Cinnapon roll make Gekabi sleepy. Here is reward from generous Gekabi. Thanks. If you see suspicious activity aboard Goldmo, please report to Gekabi or Limuli. Yep, quest complete. And we gain gold, a load of experience, and some s skills. And some new items. Now let's take care of one more quest. We also get development level up level 1. Alright, let's give him this. Increase his dexterity by 20. Now let's take care of one more, and that should do it. Let's head to aft. Hi there. Yo. We were just about to play hide and seek. If friend need anything, friend have to come later. Well, wait. Friend made me look like friend want to play with us. Oh, that not occurred to me. Well, if you insist it's okay, we can all play together. But if you're seeking first, leave it to me. Wow, you're eager. Okay, me explain rules. Hiding area is anywhere on gold mold ground level. When we include higher floors, the game goes on for days and days. Then Mama Pond get angry. Anyhow, when find everyone, meet back here in Bower Lounge. Got it. Roger. Hiding area not big, but we very good at hiding. Friend no thing it'd go easy. Yeah, we play hide and seek every day. We'll hide like there's no tomorrow. Okay, we go hide now, so friend count to 100 before looking, yes? Now on this one, hide and seek. Now it's time we find them. 
Once we find them, we complete the quest. And then I can rest up to get more experience. Wait, there's actually... It's a new day, everyone! Well, a new day has already arrived. A sight of high anywhere on the ground floor, huh? Well, there you are. There's Aft. He's up there, but how do you get up there? I see. So in that case, we're just going to have to head up and around. No, but how do you get up there? Yeah, there you go. Found ya! Aw, oh, rats! You found me already! I was so sure I had the perfect hiding place as well. So lame. Uh-huh. Oh, whatever. I'm glad you didn't take it easy on me, okay? I'll go away in the power lounge. Alright, that's one. So now we gotta find the two others. This be it? Me, me, me? But Snicky Snicky and you're so nondescript. Usually harder to find even when not hiding properly. <laughs> Pretty impressive, right? Friend must have amazing power of observation. Okay, Snicky Snicky, go ahead and wait in Bower Lounge. Now to find the last one. And the last one ain't far from there. There's actually another one. Wait, what's this? Treasure trove? Oh, you need focus at super strength for level two. Nope. Come on. What's this, though? Bother, bother. Can't use no pawn as muscle. And I can't just ask the Adanians. Something wrong? Hmm. Oh, hi. Well, actually, I got some cargo in the harbor that I brought from Riyadh's trade, but... It's an ever so slight nuisance. Someone's causing trouble? That's a good guess. Except it's not exactly a person. It seems that Trent Crabbles love the stuff I'm transporting. To get to it, they clamor on deck and try to steal the cargo. I hired some goons in Stand Guard, but they all got done in. So I'm out here now looking for someone to replace them with. But I'm having no luck so far, so I'm starting to feel a bit dire. I'd like to help if that's okay. You're saying you'll take the job? Thanks a bunch, pal. You're one in a million. The cargo's in Goldmount Retorn Point. It's pretty large. You can't miss it. It'd be great if you could chase off the thieving Trank Crabbles. Thanks in advance. Leave it to me. And this quest is Cargo Escort, so it seems we'll be doing three quests. Huh? Wheeling out the maelstrom for this. Banner sure has deep pockets. Gawking at a boat. 
What are you, twelve? Wait, maybe you are twelve. What's my age got to do with anything? I can tell an awesome feat of engineering when I see one. You don't close your mouth soon, you're gonna swallow a fly. What's her problem? We're nearly the same age. Also, you might want to watch where you stand. Otherwise, when we cast off, that rope will take your leg off. Huh? Gotcha. What, you little... Now look whose mouth's hanging open. Rex, we're heading out. There's no one seeing you off, right? You got night watch. Till then, rest up inside. Aye, aye. Later. What was that about? Before you head off from your big job, I'd like to explain a little something about selling items in Allrest. Meritor made use of them, but there are a business called item trading shops that specialize in taking treasure off your hands. If you sell off items as a whole set, you'll earn a bunch of more money if you sell them off individually. So when you find precious treasures, don't just sell them off cheap at a shop. See if you can tidy together sets for trading shops and make a tidy profit. And what's this? This must be the last one. Friend, find me inside cask? Unfair! Please excuse. Talu is one who was unfair. Afton Sneaky Sneaky never find Talulu here. I as a friend must be very strong. So Talu was last? Okay, me go back to Battle Lounge now. Now we need to report back to them. We're not leaving yet. So hopefully we can get ourselves moving. There's still one other quest, and that will do it. Yeah, work is done. Everyone here now. Friend find Talulu already? Yes, friend is hide and seek genius. Here, here. Anyhow, thank friend for playing. It's no problem at all. Meh, I have to have to say thank you. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna. Thanks for playing. My parents are both too busy to play with me ever. But today was real fun. Really, thanks a lot for playing with us. You can come play with us anytime. Roger. Him. Here is thank you gift from Sneaky Sneaky and friends. It's like scrap of treasure for us. Or maybe just scrap. Anywho, please take. Thanks. Alright then. I guess you got places to go? Come and play again. See you around. And this completes another, high, another quest. We still got one more and that'll do it. This one gets us experience, and it nets us a muscle belt. So now all we gotta do now is head to the quest log and take on the cargo escort. Wait, where are the other? Where are the other quests? This one actually boosts up strength. I'm gonna need that. And, uh... No, we're not sending about. I'm trying to find my quest log. Alright, set us at the quest for the time being. Yeah, it's right here. It's big and easy to spot, right? Okay, bring it on. And now we gotta fight. Yeah. At least we're now dealing a lot more damage this ah. way. These Trent Crab will wanna play, then yeah. we play. Goodbye. Yeah, that got him. And very painful while it's at it. A Petra Crustive. Okay, time to take you down. Did I do that? Ha! Yeah! Yeah! Oh, these guys are just gonna be that easy. Anchor shot. Ha! I guess I really am the best. 
seriously. I, as much as I enjoy these quests, I like how it helps make the fights more of a challenge for me. Yep, that got him. Goodbye. That should take care of it. Well, I don't think the Trent Crabbles are going to come back anytime soon. Let's let Yisolde know. Ah, he's right here. I'm back. Thank you. Thanks to you chasing off the Trent Crabbles, I was able to make my delivery. I'm really grateful to you. It's no problem at all. I'd feel better if someone with tough like yourself could guard my wares, but hey. Sorry, but no. You know, if those trend crabbles come snooping again, I'll try hiring some mercenaries from Garfront. They say those mercs are buff as buff can be. But I digress. Here, your reward for protecting my wares. Please take it. Thanks. And that takes care of number three. Nice. That is some more experience. And I think that's where we are going to pretty much end it here. Because I now need to rest up so that way I can be able to turn all that bonus experience into making sure my character survives a bit longer. But I hope that you all are looking forward to this playthrough of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It's like Xenoblade Chronicles all over again, albeit for all the good reasons. And trust me, I spent 150 hours on that game, that's what. Now let's get a short Rex, leveled up. Level up to level six. Yeah, I'm feeling stronger than before. Exactly. So we finished leveling up. And that'll pretty much do it. So that is going to be it for this part of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And if you did, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me. Ugh, I slept like a baby. And we got some new arts. So yeah, see if we can reach our goal of 15 likes, and I will see you guys next time in part two. This is Mega Man NG, signing off. Peace out.